Yeah, that was uh, really tough to hear, um, that news. You know, the Yates family has been a huge part of NASCAR for a long time, uh, and it's really great to uh, show the support that Doug has to our team and, and you know, carrying on his father's legacy. Uh, you know, I've, I've always appreciated the, route, the Yates family for all the advancements they've made in NASCAR from, you know, back in the day and still advancing and improving, and probably one of the top, it's easy for me to say, one of the top um, engine manufacturers nowadays. But uh, I had a really great uh, story about him uh, Robert, uh, so we did our victory lunch at Roush Yates for Pocono about, it was about a month, month and a half ago, and uh, Robert came. So they had all the employees, Doug was there, and, and Robert showed up. And so the Wood Brothers, Eddie, Lynn, and I, uh, and Robert, and Doug sat down and talked for, it was at least two hours uh, after the lunch was over, and uh, just hearing stories. Uh, he reminds me a lot of, a lot of, uh, Leonard in that sense where he can you know, he was a great storyteller and has just tons of stories um, And he told me a great story about AJ Foyt He was working on his uh, it was a silver crown car. I believe of his back in the day. I couldn't remember what year um, That kind of made me laugh and you kind of get a sense of who the two people are uh, He's out there running. I think it was at uh, Indianapolis Raceway Park. I don't know what they call it nowadays IRP and um, AJ comes in, he's like, it's not running right. Carburetor's not running right. He goes, all right, let me fix it. Goes out again. AJ comes in, he's like, I'm telling you, it's not running right. We need to replace it. He's like, oh, let's, let's just fix it. And he said, AJ comes out from behind the toolbox with a five pound sledgehammer and just beats the hell out of this carburetor. And he said, well, I think you should put a new one on it now. And uh, I thought that was a pretty funny story. And there was a handful of others there, but that was probably my favorite. So it was, it was nice to get to know Robert a little bit um, before he passed. And, a uh, great guy, just loved the sport, and uh, probably one of the biggest innovators of the sport um, on the engine side. So, uh, you know, I, I uh, you know, think about his family and everybody, but uh, I know Doug is, uh, has been a great, great person to get to know, and, and uh, I know he's going to definitely make his father proud for sure, and he's, uh, he's a great person to have on our side.